You know, Walt Disney once said, Disneyland will never be complete as long as there is imagination left in the world. And I don't think that goes with just Disneyland. I believe Walt meant that as for all of Disney. As long as there is imagination left in the world, Disney will never be complete. Today we're going to be here at the Disney Contemporary Resort. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. They are currently doing a major refurbishment here at the Disney Contemporary Resort at Walt Disney World Resort. They are transforming the guest rooms with a, well, I would say an incredible layover. They are adding some touches of Disney Pixar's The Incredibles. There's going to be some monorail tie-ins with the rooms. We're going to see what the rooms look like. I will be showing you guys that. We're also going to be seeing exactly what's happening here at the Contemporary Resort. Now, let's take a closer look. Now, I've done a video talking about how this resort was made and opened on October 1st, 1971. Basically, this is an A-frame hotel and each of the individual rooms were kind of slid in just like you would a chest of drawers. Like you're sliding in the drawer, they would slide in each of the rooms. They designed them off property and then they hoisted them up on a crane and slid them in. Now, I don't believe they still do that with everything shifting with the <laughs> Florida Foundation. I'm sure it's made it a little difficult and things have probably moved around but they are currently underway with transforming the rooms here at the Contemporary. Actually, I can see construction workers and hear the sounds of construction happening right up there. Now let's talk about what they're doing. You can see they have the tarp up there. So this is taken from the Disney Parks blog, so it is official. Disney has stated, currently all nine floors of the guest rooms in the tower are being completely refurbished. The rooms will blend a sleek monorail motif with some favorite characters from Pixar Animation Studios' incredible films, including Jack-Jack, Frozone, and Edna Mode. New custom artwork in guest rooms and long guest corridors will be modern, futuristic, and oh-so-stylish, complementing the resort's architecture while putting the superpowers on display. So basically, what you're going to be getting is a monorail themed room with the Incredibles all over the place. A little mid-century modern, a little art deco, definitely has the feeling of the Incredibles. I love the theme to that, that movie, everything's so sleek, and it does totally fit in with the architecture and style of Disney's contemporary resort, especially with that monorail motif, as Disney stated. This is going to be awesome. Now, this refurbishment is going on until September of 2021. So, fall, this will debut just in time for the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. I cannot believe it. 50 years of Walt Disney World is going to be happening. Now, I'm going to head inside the lobby right now where they're going to be doing some more updates here with the Incredibles and other things. This is gonna be a little different than what we are used to. Disney states, in the lobby you'll see a collection of modern art pieces as well as historical behind the scenes photographs of Disney's contemporary resort in development and under construction. So all through here, they're gonna be adding some new things. I'm excited to see some behind the scenes photographs or probably be them hoisting up those rooms back in the 70s, <laughs> well, late 60s, early 70s, and putting them, you know, the rooms, sliding them in to where they are. So a lot of what we are seeing right now will eventually be a thing of the past. Now right across the way is the Wave. This will also soon close to make way for a reimagined dining experience. I'm gonna head up to the, the very top here. I'm excited. One more thing that Disney stated was, all the excitement at Disney's Contemporary Resort is a part of the ongoing evolution of Disney Resort's collection at Walt Disney World, where the magic you find in our theme parks extend to every moment of your vacation. So I'm wondering if like in the lobby, you know, this kind of stuff is also gonna be replaced with behind the scenes photographs of the making of this resort. 
See those simple art pieces they have over there that'll probably be switched out to something, you know, with the contemporary. Who knows what they're gonna do with the carpet too. I hope they never get rid of this carpet. <laughs> I kind of like this carpet, but we're gonna head up here to the very tip top, the main, the main floor where everything is so we can really see what this refurbishment is looking like. Now, I think they've already added a few new things with the Incredibles up here. We're gonna have to, to see, I can already see all that is tarped off. That's crazy, those are floors. Those are where the rooms are right there. And as you can see, it's it's all under some, some tarps, as well as right here next to Mary Blair's famous painting. You can see they've got it all tarped up going straight across. That's crazy. This is what it currently looks like right here next to Chef Mickey's in the Contempo Cafe. Look at that, those tarps are going all the way up to the very tip top. How insane. See, they've already got the, the style here inside the Contemporary, this very sleek, mid-century modern type things. Add a little bit of the Incredibles flair to it and you got it. Just don't ever get rid of my neon Mickey. This, please, don't, don't ever get rid of this. This is looking up from Fantasia Gifts and BVG Gifts to the left. Look at that, it's all wrapped up completely. I thought I'd never see something like this. I wonder if this is what it looked like when they were doing construction for the grand opening almost 50 years ago. This area is also tarped off here on the, the porch. You can see it's completely wrapped with construction right next to the monorail beam. But you can still head inside and outside heading to Bay Lake Tower. But right out here, see it's all tarped up. Going down. But this area is still accessible. So certain things, you know, I mean, for the most part, it's not a huge inconvenience because everything you need to get to, you know, here at the Contemporary, you can. It's just the rooms right now and a few smaller places out here, but really what, what's, you know, who's gonna be standing there? If you come out here, you're gonna go and sit right over here. You can sit here. A lot of people don't know this. You can sit right here and get a view. Oh yeah. Here comes that monorail. So the monorail service still is working and operating here, which is a good thing to know. A lot of times when these resorts do refurbs, you know, they will close down the monorail, but this one is still operating. The one over the the Polynesian stop is not operating right now because they are working on the main entrance there and the monorail platform. But the monorail here at the Contemporary with the construction happening is still operating. This is pretty wild. Walt Disney World, 50th anniversary is coming up. They decide to reimagine the rooms here at the Contemporary, something, something they haven't done in quite some time. And I just found it interesting that it's gonna be happening during the 50th anniversary celebration. I'm, I'm guessing they know the crowds are coming. People are definitely coming here. But what do you guys think with this update? I honestly think it's awesome. I think Disney needs to have more themed rooms, themed experiences inside the hotel. Because to be honest with you, when I stayed at Bay Lake and I've seen the rooms of the Contemporary, nothing inside really felt like Disney. Everything in the resort felt like Disney, but the room itself did not feel like Disney. I grew up in the Eisner era where you would go in your room and there very well might be a statue of a Disney character inside. Not necessarily that, you know, crazy, but there was definitely a Mickey Mouse telephone in there, the classic Mickey telephone. There were probably pictures of Disney characters in there. The pillows had Disney characters on them. It, it was very Disney. I didn't feel like I was staying at a hotel, you know, down the street. And so that was always my, my gripe about Disney resorts. Why stay here, spend the money, which I get it, you're close to the park, but you gotta give theme. I want theme, I wanna feel like I'm staying in the Haunted Mansion in a room. That would be incredible. This is pretty cool. You can hear construction 
all the way up there. I can hear them sawing and using all kinds of different tools to get those rooms ready. It's just unbelievable how this place was built and thought out, you know, just like you slide in a chest of drawers. I'm wondering, you know, how that, that kind of holds up to today. But that's what it's currently looking like here, right next to the, the Fantasia gift shop. I'm gonna head downstairs here, head out to the courtyard there and see what the construction updates look like from that side near the swimming pool and Bay Lake. One last look up there. Extremely thrilled to see that the lobby is going to get some love too. I love anything behind the scenes and that's exactly what they're bringing. Super excited to find out exactly what's going to happen right here at the Wave as well. Might I add that Disney did state that once the tower guest rooms are complete, work will begin on the rooms inside the Garden Wing out on the shore of Bay Lake, which is right over there. What do you think about all this, Mickey? You just sit here all the time looking at this wonderful A-frame resort. Can you believe this has been here for over 50 years? It's kind of hard to believe. They are doing construction on this side as well. Obviously, we saw inside when we were on the fourth floor, but this is what it looks like on the outside of this side of the resort. I don't believe anybody's staying in these rooms right now. I think everyone is staying in the garden room wing over here. I believe that's where everyone is staying. Pretty crazy to come to the contemporary and not be able to stay in the main building. Starting to see some of the pontoons return back over here. Hopefully that means we can start renting boats again. I enjoy doing that. And might I add the pool in all this area over here is fully open, including the sandbar. All that is fully open and operational during this refurb here at the Contemporary. Now, when I was standing over there looking, I could see construction workers walking out of the rooms with buckets and everything. So they are inside painting. They are getting things underway for the 50th celebration. Unbelievable, right? I just thought this was like an incredible, no pun intended, update here at the Contemporary. And normally I do not show updates like this, but I felt like this was historical. Something historical is happening here at the Contemporary. What we know of the Contemporary will not be the same come fall of 2021. And I hope you guys enjoyed those photographs that I posted from the Disney Parks blog. Check out the Disney Parks blog. They have more of an in-depth look at the rooms and different details you guys might not have caught on my video. Pretty awesome. I, I'm excited. Maybe one day I'll actually get to stay inside the Contemporary here and we'll be able to see exactly what this Incredibles update looks like. Oh, and by the way, this does not include Bay Lake Tower. They are not doing anything currently at Bay Lake Tower. Who knows what the future will hold of this DVC resort though. But I'm excited to see all the changes that are happening here at this iconic Disney resort. Something that I always think about, especially when I visit the Magic Kingdom. You can't help but think about the Contemporary Resort, the monorail, it all goes together. And it's exciting what they're doing with the monorail, you know, incorporation in the rooms. I always feel like this is the monorail hotel. I think when I was a kid, I called it that because I don't think I could pronounce contemporary. Monorail hotel was more appropriate. <laughs> well, we came, we saw, we talked about what updates were happening here at Disney's Contemporary Resort. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are kind of super excited about this as well. Chime in, comment below, let me know your thoughts on this. I know changes at Walt Disney World sometimes are, are good and sometimes are bad. I believe this is a good, good change. Nothing is really happening here except for style-wise on the inside of the rooms. I think that's wonderful. They're incorporating a great Disney Pixar animated film and they're incorporating something we all love, the monorail. So this will be a good update and change in my opinion. What's your opinion? But I think our adventure for today has come to an end. This was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, click the thumbs up button, but it is time to say goodbye and I will see you guys on the next adventure of World of Micah. The next time you're here at the Contemporary, tell them World of Micah sent you. I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.